What's going on YouTube? Come back at you with another video. Okay, so I'm gonna start giving you guys a couple videos a day that have more news stories in them besides just one. Um, a lot of people out there seem to like the longer content. So I'm gonna try to appease you and bring you a few stories and make the, uh, the videos a little bit longer. So the first story we got is about Roe murder. Roe murder, if you didn't know, was recently given four years in prison over his involvement with this Takashi 69 Rico indictment. He basically told the judge that he left the gang. He was stabbed over leaving the gang. The judge actually showed him a little bit of love, knocked off two years off the sentence of what he was gonna give him. Apparently, that's not good enough for Roe murder. He wants his sentence to be reduced drastically. So they reported Roe Murder hired Michael S. Schachter to help him uh, in his whole appeal process of this prison sentence. Schachter is a partner at the law firm Wilkie, Farr, and Gallagher. And this is a high profile um, firm that has had big clients, including an Adidas executive who was involved in the NCAA recruitment strategy. So... I don't know how well this is going to work out for Roe Murder. Maybe he got the right attorneys that can make something happen. But it seemed like he actually was spared as far as sentencing. We saw Shadi. He caught 15 years. Most of the other people caught at least five years. Um, hey, Mel Murder actually will be sentenced today. But Roe Murder only getting four years trying to appeal it. I don't know how it's going to work out. We will see. Let's go on to the next story. The next story comes from Snow Billy. I saw this on his Instagram. I found it very interesting. I'm going to show you what he put up. So, Snow Billy says, I will be pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit murder and attempted kidnapping. I will be taking an open plea deal based on the judge discretion. Hashtag power of the badge. All details and power of the badge coming soon. So there's been a lot of um, weird shit going on with this whole Snow Billy situation. Some people were trying to put it out there like Snow Billy was not actually locked up or is not having any open cases at the moment. Snow Billy saying he's going to be pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit murder and attempted kidnapping. Sounds like some very serious charges. Again, I don't know what to make of this whole Snow Billy situation, but I will say, regardless of what you think about Snow Billy, the stories that he has, the information that he brings forth, and to be honest with you, and this is this isn't really promoting him. He like he didn't ask me to promote this, but the fact that he's putting this out, the power of the badge, this sounds like something, if it's a book, which I'm assuming it is, sounds like something that I would actually be interested in reading. That's just my opinion, though. Let me know what you guys think about this whole Snow Billy situation. Do you think Snow Billy is actually pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit murder and attempted kidnapping? Let's go on to the next story. This one is about this NYPD cop Arlisha Robinson, who was connected to CEO Chris, she was accused and is accused of dealing drugs um, with CEO Chris and the Nitre Gangsta Bloods organization. So basically, CEO Chris threw her under the bus during this whole indictment situation. He testified that basically everything that the feds had on her was true and that she allegedly helped smuggle um, drugs on three different occasions in 2018 for the gang. So this cop was um, apparently, based on CEO Chris's testimony, a friend of his, his girlfriend, who they were able to compromise and get her to go along with their scheme. It's interesting that she was also arrested at the same time as this whole Takashi 69 indictment, but there was no publicity put on the case. Kind of strange based on the fact that you would think an NYPD sergeant, 
I believe she's a sergeant. Um, you know, the fact that she was caught up in this whole thing, you, that should have made front page news, but they kept it hush hush. We didn't even hear about this whole situation till the whole CEO Chris part of this um, trial, which is interesting. So she's headed to court. We'll see how it plays out for her. Roll murder, appealing his sentence. And also, lastly, Snow Billy saying he's pleading guilty to some very serious charges. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I appreciate you watching. Take a second to hit the like, subscribe, share. Definitely leave some feedback. Um, pay attention today if you're interested in this whole 6 9 indictment. Uh, Mel Murder will be sentenced today. I'll definitely bring you updates as they come. I appreciate you watching, though. Peace.